Well guys, about three months ago I got a lock very similar to this one from Julian and Tobias in Germany. Remember they are the woodworkers that miraculously put together some pretty fantastic looking locks. This is a triple lock and it, it it's actually version two. This was put together by Daniel. And he actually sent a note. He says, like most people, I was blown away by the craftsmanship and ingenuity of the triple lock from Julian and Tobias. However, there was a recurring question asked in the comment section, which, which I felt needed an answer slash solution. Daniel, I think you've done it. First of all, uh, this lock is going to be much easier to take apart because Daniel has put plugs on the top, so now we don't have to gut it. And I probably won't gut this one for fear of screwing something up. And actually, he asked me to forward this to Julian and Tobias. But anyway, uh, much easier to take apart cylinder by cylinder, one at a time. Uh, the other thing he questioned, notice we have different colors. We have a white, a red, and a blue. And that's because we have three different keys. And the question was, can you key it up differently? So it requires three different keys. Now the truth of the matter is Daniel probably has a nuclear weapon in his basement. And he wanted to put three-person control. So no one person could turn the key and fire that baby off. So there must be three people in his house. And so the white key slides in there turns it, but it only goes as far as the red. And then whoever owns the white key has got to pull it out. Then the person with the red key has to agree to trigger that baby. Slide it in, rotate it around. It only goes as far as the blue. Firing circuit is not yet closed. Pull it out. And then the last guy who's going to initiate that flash of light, slide that baby in and rotate it the last bit. There's nothing hooked up on the bank, the back, thank goodness. But that is how my imagination works kind of cool. I got to say, it's very cool. Now, he, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to pick this thing. Um, he was trying to prove a, a concept that you could key it up differently. Uh, I don't believe he put security pins in here. I did pick or pick it, then I rotated it back. So I'm going to try to just rake this thing. So I'm going to use top of the keyway. And I'm going to see what happens when we pick one of these cylinders. So, well, that's not going to work. Let's try, whoops, let's try this guy. Let's try the worm because he didn't seem to want to fit in there, the regular Bogota. So light tension, and we got an open. Like I said, he wasn't trying to put security pins in here. I don't believe he was simply trying to prove a concept. Now what's happened is it didn't quite turn to the red, and that's because the pins, the, the drivers that are in the blue lock went up into the keyway. So I'm just going to rake them a little bit and rotate it around. So I'm one third of the way there to triggering this baby. All right, slide it in there. Let's see if we can rake the red one. Now these are supposed to be in increasing difficulty. Very light tension and okay. We are two thirds of the way there. Again, the pins from the white have now popped up in the bottom. I'm gonna rake those down into place. We are two thirds armed. Now I'm lucky enough I'm able to rotate this. Try to imagine this hooking in a door. Okay, last guy. Again, same pick, same tension. Get in there. Okay, I got a fault set on this one. There probably is a security pin in here. So I'm going to quit messing around. I'm going to go ahead and pick him. I got a fault set. I'm going to go to work. Let me rotate the camera just a little bit. Do a fault set going, so let's see, where's the binder? There we go, a little counter rotation there. Come on, get on there. Maybe not. Definitely it's counter rotation. I'm going to release tension and just push him. There we go. I felt a click. This one definitely has security pins. Okay, that was three. And there we go. Almost all the way there. So cover your ears, cover your eyes. This thing's going to go off as soon as I push those pins down. And we rotate it the rest of the way. Completing the circuit. Bam! All right. Anyway, Daniel. <laughs> Again, I... I you guys, you really blow me away with all of the, the level of, of 
technology, the, the workmanship you guys put into these some of these locks, it just really does amaze me. I'm not going to gut this one, I don't think, in, in the white one or the red one, there are any security pins, and I think in here we're probably only looking at a couple of spools. The proof of concept now works. Um, hey, let's go ahead and try it. Yeah, baby, will not work. Let's try it backwards. Doesn't want to go back. Once we rotate it past there, it doesn't want to go backwards. Let's uh, try one thing real quick. What happens? Okay, now we're locked up on white. So let's put the white one back in and kind of reverse. Doesn't want to go reverse. Isn't that odd? I can't explain it, and I'm not going to try to. Daniel, thank you, sir, for all the uh, work you put into this. Everybody else, stay safe. Stay legal. By the way... Daniel asked me to send this to Julian and Tobias, and he sent me some candy to forward along. Problem is, Julian and Tobias, there's only two of you, uh, and this would be three pieces of candy. That wouldn't be right. So I'm going to have to withhold this one as a piece of tax. You will receive these in the box along with this lock and the keys. Thanks, guys.